in Ontario, we are watching for more detail from Premier Doug Ford's office. He is in isolation this morning because of a close contact with a staff member who has tested positive. Ford's office putting out a statement late last night saying the Premier himself has tested negative, but is following all public health advice for close contacts of positive cases. Ford was in contact with this staffer on Monday, and then the person tested positive yesterday. Other members of Ford's staff are also in isolation. Isolation. The Premier got his first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine earlier this month, but 11 days, not time for any significant immunity to develop, at least based on the science as we know it so far. That's something that we're watching as we continue to look at the developments in Ontario and the response from the Doug Ford government to the third wave, which is absolutely crushing Ontario's hospitals to the breaking point. Ontario Provincial Affairs reporter Mike Crawley has been covering all of that, and he's here with us live as he has been through the morning. What is the situation this morning in Ontario hospitals, Mike? Uh, Heather, it's important to remember that Ontario's hospitals right now have seen are seeing uh, more COVID-19 patients than they have at any point in time in the pandemic. Uh, there are more than uh, 2,300 people with COVID-19 in uh, the province's hospitals right now. That is a record high, uh, and of those of that number, uh, nearly 800, 788 of them are in intensive care. That is also a record high. Uh, we're told just uh, over. Overnight, we got the latest numbers on the ICUs uh, just within the past hour. Uh, more, uh, more than uh, uh, there were 78 patients who were uh, admitted to uh, uh, ICUs overnight. Uh, and uh, as well, it's a significant number. No sign that those patient numbers are slowing down. Uh, I spoke to some doctors yesterday, uh, in particular one doctor from the William Moser Health System, uh, which is in uh, uh, has hospitals in Brampton and Etobicoke, two of the hardest hit areas. And uh, he's saying that he's concerned that uh, the pace of the patients coming through uh, the door needing critical care is going to get to the extent that they uh, are just running out of options. Uh, at the moment, uh, patients are being transferred all over Ontario to available ICUs, uh, dozens of patients every day uh, being transferred, uh, and um, uh, the the concern is that th there will not be enough uh, places to put them. Uh, the province says that uh, they're trying to do everything they can to use the health system uh, across Ontario as one to maximize the use of the available resources. Mike, of late really since Friday when the province announced its latest measures and tightening and restrictions in response to these numbers in the hospital situation, a number of political commentators, one even in the Washington Post, writing to call for the Premier's resignation. How do Ontarians feel about how the government is handling the crisis? Heather, there have been signs for a few weeks now that uh, public opinion has has turned against uh, the Ford government, or at least the the support for uh, the the premier, for his party, and for the government's handling of the pandemic seems to have dwindled. Uh, and that's uh, shown most starkly in a new poll out uh, from Innovative Research Group. Uh, they were actually polling a, a group of people just before Friday's announcements and just after, and they saw a, a trend. Uh, that suggested that what the what the government did on Friday actually made things worse for them, uh, and you you quickly saw the the um, reversal of uh, some of the policies uh, the, that uh, were brought in on Friday. Uh, the government to backing down on this idea of closing playgrounds. They did not, however, back down on the idea of closing many other outdoor uh, amenities. Even though this goes against the advice they were getting from uh, the science table. One sign, uh, though, of the the sensitivity to the public. Uh, opinion right now that we're getting from the Ford government is that there's are hints coming from the health minister uh, that they might make some sort of a move on paid sick days. Don't have any details yet, but uh, the, the government is talking about uh, doing something uh, in the wake of the federal budget, uh, not making any changes to the Canada Recovery Sickness Benefit. So uh, stay tuned for that. We'll see uh, what is coming from the Ford government related to uh, mandating paid sick days. There have been very loud calls for that from many quarters, Mike. So yes, as you say, responding perhaps to some of that. Thank you, Mike, for everything this morning. 